In the Arizona desert is a county jail like no other. This is America's toughest jail. Shoplifters and murderers sleep side by side in tents. Don't do anything to disrespect any of your fellow inmates. And fight a daily war with officers for control. In this hostile environment, tensions run high, and chaos is always just around the corner. Welcome to the Wild West. Welcome to Tent City, Arizona. It's 3 p.m. in Phoenix, Arizona. New inmates are entering the Maricopa County Jail System, one of the largest and toughest in the country. 10,000 inmates are packed into six separate jails spread out across the city, and more arrive every day. In Phoenix, there are more inmates than jail cells. To deal with the overflow, Sheriff Joe Arpaio created Tent City. I will always have room. I will go to my grave. Before I let these guys out early, I'll put more tents up from here to Mexico if I have to. So that sends a message. The sheriff will make room no matter what. Located in the desert near downtown Phoenix, Tent City houses 2,000 inmates in canvas tents. Unlike the county's other jails, where offenders spend most of their time locked in cramped cells, inmates here get plenty of time outdoors. But that's where the advantages end. Temperatures inside the tents can reach 140 degrees in summer. To keep costs down, inmates are deprived of extras like sugar, salt, pepper, and coffee. Tobacco is strictly forbidden. And with no bars to control a volatile mix of inmates, officers maintain order with military-like discipline and force. All right, gentlemen, listen up. This is a strict disciplinary environment. There is no arguing. There is no disrespect towards staff members when you're here. You will address everybody here as ma'am, sir, or officer. Does everybody understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. In this tense environment, hostility between prisoners and guards simmers and sometimes boils over. So what's your situation here? I just want to walk on the fence, man. Because you're getting searched as part of being in jail. In the last decade, scores of inmates and guards in the Maricopa County jails have been injured in violent clashes. Four inmates have died, raising concerns in the Phoenix community and across the country. Inmates in Tent City have been convicted of crimes ranging from drug possession to assault. They usually serve a maximum sentence of one year if they stay out of trouble. But if they get out of line, they could end up in lockdown at an indoor jail or serving a much longer sentence in state prison. It's 19-year-old Ryan Molina's first day here. All right, gentlemen, listen up. When Officer Dewar calls your name, grab your property and step forward. Merlina. I don't know what I would really compare it to. There's no comparison. It's pretty, pretty crappy here. I think, I think this, would be, this is a pretty hard time right here. He's been convicted of forgery, burglary, and most recently, possession of methamphetamine. A meth user since age 12, Merlina spent his teen years in and out of juvenile detention. This is his first time in the adult system. In exchange for pleading guilty, the court offered Merlina a deal. If he behaves himself, he'll serve just six months at Tent City. But if he messes up, he'll get 12 years in state prison. I was not expecting this when you came to jail, huh? This is pretty much my last chance. If I do mess up in here or on the outside, I'm looking at 12 years off the bat. But surviving at tents is going to be harder than anything he's ever done. Merlin is surrounded by inmates who have committed crimes, ranging from shoplifting to manslaughter. And living conditions are harsh. He gets a bedroll, a sheet, and a bunk in a tent with 21 other felons. Welcome to the tent, bro. But his main motivation to serve his time quickly, he wants to see his young son born while he waited for sentencing. 21, 13. 
think about my child a lot. Um, I think about what's going to happen if I don't change my ways. I grew up without a father, and uh, yeah, I wouldn't want that to happen to him. Recently, Merlina's mom and girlfriend cut ties with him because of his drug use. At Tent City, he's on his own. Um, I've been in and out of jail since I was real young, and uh, my mom's been there for me. And now that I'm in jail this time, she's not there for me. And it's a lot different, um, knowing that if I do get in trouble again, she's not going to be there. And those closest to Merlina now may not have his best interests at heart. Tent City is filled with career criminals looking to drag newcomers like him into the contraband trade. It's the major source of friction between guards and inmates. There's a booming black market in tobacco and other illegal luxuries here, smuggled in from the outside or thrown over the barbed wire fence. And once contraband's here, the open tents make trade easy and the work of officers hard. Imagine being a cop in a small town where 100% of the population are criminals. Sergeant Mendoza is a 10-year veteran of the Phoenix jails, including two years at Tent City. Like his fellow officers, he enforces zero tolerance for rule breakers. Sir, you need to get your shirt on before you step out of your tent. Mendoza is on the front lines in the battle to keep contraband out of the tents. But he faces a constant challenge to his authority the racial groups that dominate Tent City. Unfortunately, everything out here is organized by race. When a new inmate comes into our system, they'll be approached by someone from their race who will explain to them what the rules and expectations are out here. Rule number one, stick to your own race. Each group has its own seating area and name. African Americans are called kinfolk. Mexicans, paisas. Mexican-Americans, Chicanos. Native Americans, Chiefs. And the whites are called the Woods. The groups claim they exist to provide protection. Officers say their purpose is controlling inmates and contraband. Oftentimes, the heads of the races are involved in some of the criminal activity and the contraband smuggling that goes on out here. Unfortunately, as soon as we remove a head from the yard,